the life. This is this is the climbing I want to do. Yeah. This is the life. <sighs> a.m. and we're gonna go to Mitake to Boulder. I need to get ready. Let's go get ready. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Halloween in Japan where I take you along to find things to do around in Tokyo so you don't have to. In today's video, I'll be taking you guys outdoor bouldering at Mitake. Let's go. So there are multiple ways to get to Mitake. Um, I will be taking the train from Shinjuku, the Shuo Sen, um, Shuo Line from 7:44. I think we'll arrive around 9 o'clock, which is like a two-hour, two-hour train ride. Um, and I heard from one of my friends that there are no convenience store over there. Before you guys go there, I recommend buying a lot of snacks for lunch and um, something to eat while you climb. If you don't plan ahead like me, you can buy all your snacks at the station because at every con um, at station they have a convenience store. Sasha, you ready to climb? Oh, Should be illegal to be awake this early. I'm ready to climb. Ish. I'm ready to climb. How are you going? How are you feeling? Tired. Dead. We're ready to climb. A few moments later. Mitake is actually um, one of the most accessible outdoor climbing near Tokyo. It's also very famous for hiking too, so it's not only for bouldering. Apparently, we gotta move train carts because the front of the train cart is going to a different location. So don't get on the wrong train cart. The one that goes to Okutama where we're climbing is from train cart number one to number six. Hello guys, drum roll. We are at Mitake. <laughs> laughing at me. I actually have no idea what we're doing. Apparently, we're supposed to go rent some pads. Let's go. For the crash pad, you can actually rent the crash pad at a sh um, this climbing shop right by the station. You can call ahead with this phone number and tell them you want to rent a pad. One crash pad costs around a thousand yen for the whole day. In our case, we've had a lot of people, so we we rented four pads. So we got the pads. Right, the nice thing about Mitake, apart from it being close to Tokyo, is mm -hmm. that you can rent mats right next to the station. It's only like two minutes away. Um, and every single rock is within maybe five minutes of walking. Um, so you haven't got to lug these around so far, compared to a lot of other places where you're falling up hills without paths for like 15, 20 minutes straight, carrying all your stuff, all your food. Um, so this is really nice and easy to get around. Very convenient. Go! Aruko! Aruko! I missed that in the karaoke because I was like. Yeah, she missed that because she was going outside getting for drinks. Yes. She's an alcoholic. Yes. I really am. Go! Watashi wa genki! Hey, hey, hey! Da 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 We're gonna warm up right now. Uh, I'm so tired. Hi, it's our day, Kimasho. Basically, the whole time I'm gonna feel like indoors. They're gonna be awkward and slippery and weird hand positions. Um, it's gonna be hard to read the like routes where you gotta go. So try and think a little bit harder. Take your time. You're gonna to have to trust your hands quite a lot. Because the rock here is kind of slippery because it's by the river. And it gets a little bit humid, a little bit glossy. The feet are also a little bit slippery. So just try and like really be careful with your placement. Yeah. That 
at all times. So spotting, you're not catching the person climbing. You're just trying to make sure they land on the mat. Mainly protect their head. You might have to move the mats around. So be ready to just kind of, you know, pull the mat so that the climber is protected at all the time. More or less it, please pay attention. Climbing down is way harder than I thought. It's actually so scary. And our friend just arrived. So we did some mystery solving. He actually did. We're at Mitake. What? No, then. Mitake. Mitake Kobashi area to warm up. I think. Probably. He thinks probably. I think. You I never think. really know. It. It doesn't really matter, I right? Think it's this rock. It's he thinks it's this rock right here. It looks like it. I have no clue. Every lock looks pretty similar to me. No, I'm no, sorry. Just like that, right? Just a crutch, nice crutch angle. Just stand like looking out at the water. <laughs> like... Where oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, start again, start again, start again, start again. Beautiful. Maybe. I spotted a wild ocean. Huh? I spotted a wild ocean. <laughs> so this is the second place we're at. It's called the Pinch Overhang. V0, V1, V2s. Warming up. Climbing outdoors, the holds are not as clear as indoor climbing, so it's a bit, it's quite hard. Even though like, you, you can do it indoors, outdoors, you gotta find the holds. You, you can't just jump for it either. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Currently 12 p.m. lunchtime, and I'm taking a lunch break with some sandwich I got from Kombini. It's all mashed up right now. I'm so hungry. The holes are really nice, but the, the outdoor climbing, it's really sharp on the fingers. Yeah, it's really, really sharp on the fingers. Hello guys, it's 4 p.m. They're running away. Um, that's it for today's video. Climbing is super fun. Our tip is to bring a lot of snacks because there's no convenience store nearby. Drinks, water, beer, as Don would say, buy some beer. 
access two hour so it's only two hour train ride from Tokyo, very accessible. <laughs> if it's a nice weather out, you guys should definitely either come for a climb or a hike. Yes, I am. I am closing. And that is it for today's video. If you guys want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Love you, Win.